Hey guys, so I got your email about the Taurus and uh, I've already shown you some work that I've done about making a, a model for the panels, but uh, I saw cereal bots uh, the other day, the empty cereal bots, and I'm like, wow, I wonder if I can make a, a cardboard example out of it, uh, which would require me to be able to create the panels and then do what's called an unfolding, flattening them out. Uh, without any kind of overlap. So what I did, uh, let me switch over just a second here. So here on the screen you can see uh, one of these uh, tori. I've got, um, let's see, I think I've got this set up to be 7 by 8. So it's going around 7 times, so it's flat on the outside, and it's got the little peak on the inside, and there's 8 of these going around. So I wanted to unfold this, so what I did was, I did some linear algebra, and let me show you. You start mapping these, there's the, the outside, and then there's a piece, and then there's a piece, and then there's a piece, and that's the piece that I need, and then I wanted to I'll put the, these three on the bottom of this, and let me show you what I got. So let me switch over here again. I got something that looked like this. See? So I've got a PDF of this, and this makes half of a torus. So I'll just paste this to the cardboard from the cereal box, and then cut it out, and then fold along the black, cut, up, cut this out, and then fold along the black lines, and uh, do some taping to see what we got. So let me pause here and do that, and then uh, I'll come back to you. Hang on. Okay, I'm back, and I've got my Cheerios box, and you can see that I've glued... I've cut it open, and I've glued this on the shiny side because I think um, I want this bending this way because the, the paper and the shininess will keep it not wanting to bend the other way, so I think this will bend curved this way. So now I'm going to go cut this out, and I'll show you what I got when I cut it out. All right, be back. Okay, so I've cut out two of these. Let me show you. It's just the cardboard on the back and then I've already started here's another one where I'm going along each of these black lines and scoring it with the back of the scissors to put an indentation in it and when I do that these bend let me see if I can get it to do if I put my finger out these bend quite nicely on a sharp line like that see nice and as you can see here, this is one of these, and it will wrap around, and I will tape it just like that. And then these will fold around, and hopefully we will get our torus. So i got to go get my daughter, then I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't have to get my daughter yet, so we got a little bit further. So here's one half of it, and I've taped up the rings, and now it needs to be oops, this way, bent around as you can see, right? I did that with the other half so you can see what it looks like. Isn't that nice? It's down in there. Oh yeah! So I'm going to finish this up, put it together, and I think we have us a proof of concept prototype right here. So one sec. Okay, there it is. Oh, I'm touching it. Ah, proof of concept. So I'm going to, in the email in which I link this video, I will attach um, the net for half of this, and you can just print it out twice, and maybe someone will try it on laser cutter and do a little better. I could see taking, you'd have to, you have to place, once it becomes 3D thickness, something thicker than, even this started, you had to score it just right to get it to go, but uh, there'll be a different game when these panels have thickness, but uh, I think I can handle it. So we've got good progress. All right. Salute.